What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is 10 animals that saved people's lives. This should be good. Even though it's top 5 best. It's top 5 best, but there's 10 of them. Yeah, I feel like top 5 used to be like a massive thing, and now it's just videos. Yeah. So I, I assume that's the case. But um, some of these, we've, we've done so, stuff like this before, and it's been there's been a couple in there, and there's been random stuff. That's not actually what it is. Yeah. But because this is a top 10. There's surely 10. I think the one we did before was like... 30 odd wasn't it yeah it was quite a lot wasn't it so, so I think... this is 10 so surely they've picked 10 actual animals 10 actual animals saving people's lives this is awesome by the way hopefully it's going to be cute i'm assuming some of like you've got like the um only other gorillas sometimes saving a baby that's happened well, we a couple had times, hasn't in it? jersey which i don't think will be on here but we had the uh gorilla that saved the child when he fell in yes didn't we in did uh, that was, was long that was before that was a long time that ago was like wasn't in it? the 90s yeah, yeah 90s, he's yeah. like 40 now and he's good yeah, it's like a famous He's jersey one. Played for a gorilla. There you go. Smash the like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button. We're actually getting close to 150,000 subscribers, which is mind blowing to say. We're about 490 away. So I'd really appreciate if you smash that subscribe button because it'd be awesome if this Friday stream is the 150,000 stream. Yeah. Also, have we mentioned the package we're doing on Patreon? We're also doing a package on Patreon. I'm going to buy the goodies at the weekend. It's, it's, it's going to be about a £25, £30 package. Every live we do we do monthly live streams on Patreon now just for patrons only, and we're going to be announcing one winner. If you're in the Patreon, you put in the hat. We're going to draw it live on stream, and they're going to get a random parcel from us. Obviously, then we've got to be in contact, get the address yeah. and stuff like that. But once you give it us, we'll send it over. I think in is like shortbread. It's all Jersey stuff. Jersey stuff, chocolate, and Jersey souvenirs, fudge. Whatever and then I Jersey Magna. The, and there's a Jersey like. shop, so whatever I can find in the Jersey shop. Definitely, Millie's gonna have a field day in the souvenir Can't shop. Wait. So if you're on Patreon. <laughs> You are looked forward to. If you can join Patreon, it honestly really, really helps us out, which is why we want to do something which gives back to you guys. Yeah. Um, because with news we've got coming as well, it just really, really helps us out. So thank you so, so much. But they should know the news in about six, seven weeks, shouldn't they? Potentially, we'll see. Um, we'll see. It may not happen, but we've got the news. Um, um, you throw me off my course now. Oh, also <laughs> the movies are on there. Right, enough self-promoting. Are you ready? Also, I'm great. And it is great. Are you ready? <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready. 10 animals that saved people's lives. Let's go. We often talk about humans saving animals. Sure, we also put ourselves out there as the ones who save the day, as nature's biggest helpers, blah, 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 always ready to take all the credit. But how often have we celebrated the times when an animal puts itself at risk for the sake of a human being? The tables are turned. We probably don't do it as often as we should, because people don't seem to pay too much attention to that. That's the boy. But just because we don't talk about it doesn't it? mean there haven't been any heroic acts by animals. Today, I want to present to you a list of 10 animals that save people's lives. These acts of heroism will likely put a smile on your face, or maybe even make you cry a tear or two. One thing is for sure, the lives of 10 people were saved uh, thanks the to the one. actions of 10 animals. You aren't going to believe what animal number one did for a human, and you're going to want to have this one by your side if you ever have an emergency. Number 10. Dory the Rabbit. Okay. Heroes come in all sizes, and here's a rabbit that can prove it to you. When Simon Stegall became unconscious while watching TV, his wife Victoria thought he had simply fallen asleep. However, Dory the house rabbit knew something wasn't right and started jumping on Mr. Stegall's chest until his wife came over to notice that something was wrong and immediately called an ambulance. Wow. Dory knew that she was not allowed on furniture and Victoria kept telling her to get off Mr. Stegall's chest, but her constant tapping made Mrs. Stegall become aware of the problem and do something right away. An interesting well, fact is that looking Mrs. Stegall was mad. working for an ambulance service back then and the house rabbit noticed the problem before she did. She was obviously ashamed, but thankful to have such a helpful and stubborn rabbit in the house. Bizarre. Personally, I hope they allowed her back up on the furniture after this. There's also a message here. Never underestimate the potential of the pets you have at home. You never know when they'll come to rescue your life. But, Number but you do, nine. Like, I know dogs and like, do kind of know when something's up, don't they? Mm -hmm. It is mad, and it's mad that whether some people believe it's just plain or not, I honestly don't know. But mm -hmm. if it is real, it's mad, isn't it? Yeah. It is mad. Fair play is alive, and that's yeah. all you can say. Lulu the Vietnamese pig. She was huh? just pestering me and kissing me and crying, and I'm laying on the floor. Lulu's act of heroism happened at a time when social media and memes were not a thing. Shocking, I know, right? Otherwise, she would have been more famous than when she That's was back in 1998, big, when she saved big. the life of her owner. It all started when Lulu's owner, Joanne, had a heart attack and her mm. husband was on a fishing trip. Besides Lulu, there was a dog named Bear, an American Eskimo, that started barking hopelessly trying to get someone's attention. When Lulu realized that Bear's efforts were pointless, she decided to get out of the yard where she was kept, and she got hurt in the process. 
However, she finally made it to the middle of a main road where she started playing dead. Some people thought she was just a cute, playful pig, but someone finally noticed that Lulu was trying to give a warning. The person followed Lulu all the way to her house, and that's how they were able to get help for Joanne. Fai's mad. That's one brave, determined pig. Wow, that is a mad yeah. boy. Number eight. Wow. Jambo the gorilla. Yes, this is Jersey. So the decision was not made lightly. Was... Lowland gorillas are very Jambo. endangered. Jambo, who was? What's called Jambo? The statue is. Was it? Was it Jambo? Yeah. Jambo. Well, this may be Jersey. I think it is. Oh, it may be another gorilla called Jambo. Well, this isn't. Yeah, I think it is Jambo. When you think of gorillas and zoos, most of us probably think nah, of Harambe Jersey. and the controversial Oh, that's Harambe, isn't it? So yeah, let's yeah, not yeah. bring up 2016 here. However, there is another gorilla out there that came face to face yeah. with a child. Jesus. His name is Jambo, and he became a hero back it's in Jersey. 1986 when a five year old boy fell inside his enclosure. The boy was unconscious, Jersey. which would make anyone <laughs> believe think he was an easy prey for the gorillas. However, Jambo immediately came to caress the boy and stood by in order to protect him from other gorillas. Back then, people didn't have cell phones like today, but a lot of people recorded the event with photographs and home videos. This helped others learn about the protective and caring nature of gorillas. That's awesome, isn't Some it? people yeah. out there should go watch these videos and learn about how helpful gorillas can be if you don't stress them out. Basically, there's no need to shoot them. There's definitely no need for kids to be climbing down We've their enclosures. There's no yeah. reason for Mike Tyson to want to fight one. Leave the gorillas alone, for God's sakes. Definitely. Number seven. I knew he'd be on here. William the Chatty Parrot. He says mama, but he has not said baby since the incident. He won't say it. He refuses. William, or Willie, as his family would call him, was a very chatty parrot, as his title suggests. But Willie used this attribute to save the life of Hannah, a two-year-old who was choking so badly to the point that her face started to turn blue. Mm. Megan, who was Hannah's babysitter, was taking a bathroom break when the incident happened. Yeah, That's when Willie started attended. flapping his wings aggressively and screamed the words, Mommy Sorry. Baby. Megan got out to see what Willie was talking about and noticed that Hannah was choking on a Pop-Tart. She then proceeded to apply the Heimlich maneuver and save the toddler's life. The story would be different if Willie hadn't been there. Number six. Animals are mad, aren't they? Yeah. They're so, so intelligent, but a lot, a lot of people don't give them credit yeah. for it as well. And damn, I'm liking this video. Mm. It's good. Three Guardian Lions. Next on our list is a fascinating story that sounds like something straight out of a movie. The story takes place in Africa, and the victim is a 12-year-old girl, and our heroes are a group of three lions that came to her rescue. It all started when the girl was kidnapped and taken into a very remote part of the Ethiopian savanna. Mm. The men responsible what? for the abduction wanted to force the woman into getting married and held her for a week, oh, that's constantly awful. beating her up. Sources claimed that the girl was saved by the lions as they heard her crying. The men left thinking she was dead, however the lions stood by the girl, waiting for wow. any kind of human help to arrive. As soon as they but realized how did they the know girl that? was save hands, the lions went back it's to their mad. regular lifestyle, just like heroes after saving the day. Or heroes not looking at explosions. <laughs> Number five, the elephant lifeguard. Mm -hmm. um, Ning Nong and Yum Yum were the elephant's names. Oh. Especially Ning Nong, though. While there have been a lot of natural disasters over the last couple of years, nothing comes close to the tragedy of the 2004 tsunami in the Indian Ocean. Awful. It affected many countries in the region, and hundreds of thousands of lives were lost wow. in just a short amount of time. The videos themselves are very difficult to watch. But in the midst of all the chaos, there are some stories of hope. One of them is the story of a four-year-old elephant that saved the life of an eight-year-old girl in Phuket, Thailand. Our hero is Ningong the Elephant. When our little hero noticed that Amber was unprotected, he immediately took Amber on its back and looked for a safe place in higher ground. Once the waves crashed, the elephant turned into a protective wall that kept the girl from getting hurt. Wow. Samantha and Amber's mom admitted that the end of the story would have been different if Amber had stayed with them on the beach. The young girl was not strong enough to take on the impact of the water. At some point after the impact, Samantha started asking people about Ning Nong and they told her that the elephant had died. She was relieved when she saw her little daughter riding on the back of the elephant. Today we can celebrate Ning Nong as a tsunami hero. What a legend! What a legend! Number what a legend. four. Mia the Beluga Whale. My next pick takes place underwater during an apnea competition. In case you don't know it, an apnea competition is pretty much an event in which participants try to prove who can stay underwater for the longest amount of time. <laughs> You've probably done that when you go to <laughs> the pool. That sounds so dangerous. I mean, we do do that at the pool, don't we? I and, don't well, know. I do. I'm like, right, how long I can get under her? It's under. so dangerous. In the pool where you can touch a bottom, it's not. But doing it in the ocean seems so dangerous. I think doing it anywhere is dangerous. You I mean, don't mess with water. There's a lot of people Water about. is like... We don't ever think that you can control the water. Uh-uh. The water is controlling you. Yeah, I never... never saw. Oh, I'm just telling you. Because <laughs> the summer's coming. You're scared of water as well, aren't you? I hate water. It freaks me out. Well, with your friends. 
This time, however, the competition was taking place inside a beluga whale pond in China. While the setting itself does sound a little dangerous and thrilling, it was actually quite convenient for Yan Yung, a participant whose legs stopped responding after being underwater for too long. Oh my days. Without any warning, Mia, a beluga whale, grabbed Yan Yung by her leg and took her to the surface, just so she could breathe again and recover control wow. of her body. And just like that, within a matter of seconds, Mia that? became a hero by the being at the right place at the that. right time. Wonder what would have happened to Yang Yung if she had done this in the regular pool with no beluga whales around. Actually, maybe that's not a good thing to think about. You'd hope people would come in Number though, three. Yeah. Mm. The protective whale. I'm very strict about it. don't touch the animals that you study. Don't get in the way. And here's another story that takes place underwater with Sweet another whale. whale. This time, the story begins with a human being threatened by the animal that ended <laughs> up saving... You've just got out of a whale, bear. Everybody is a bit of a weird-looking whale. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, but you've just got at it. <laughs> Life, a humpback whale. Look at him. Van Hauser, a renowned marine biologist, had been exploring whales for quite some time. But during a trip to the Cook Islands Ooh. back in 2017, Hauser witnessed something she hadn't seen before. That's beautiful. She mm. came face to face with a humpback whale that started softly pushing her forward with a closed mouth. <laughs> Keep in mind that humpback whales can be about 60 feet long and weigh a lot, so they're not a small boy. animal. So big, being pushed by a whale this big is not necessarily okay. fun. However, when Nanhauser came out of the water, she noticed the fin of a tiger shark mm. swimming right behind the whale. What Hauser considered to be the end of her life ended up being a whale just trying to protect her from an actual predator. Wow. Now it's time for the day's awesome, best pick. Yeah. A very inspiring Aww. picture that perfectly represents what I'm showing you today, a human and an animal working together. In a time of need and despair, unexpected animals can become our allies and work by our side to overcome any challenge that we face. However, are we doing the same thing for them? Perhaps it's time to think of ways to help the animals around us. Number 2. The Bear and the Mountain Lion Okay. Something jumped on my back and I thought it was a friend of mine doing it. Joke on me. The next inspiring story begins during a mountain hike in California with a man named No, Robert you think Biggs. it's normal, wouldn't you? Robert had been on so many hikes, but nothing had prepared the 69-year-old hiker for this intense experience. He couldn't help but stop and watch when he came close to a mother bear and her cub. It was a cute moment he didn't want to miss, but it all changed when out of the sudden a mountain lion came from behind and attacked him while pushing him to the ground. Although Robert's backpack kept the lion from reaching his face, there was nothing else he could do to escape. Life was pretty much going to end right there. Ooh. That's when the mother bear came to the scene and chased the lion away, saving Robert. <laughs> and I didn't know it was quite like that. Well, to keep for a lifetime. <laughs> that is mad None of his it. minor injuries compared to the satisfaction of being saved by a mother bear, that is for sure. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. I've heard right. that's the same here. It really works. Smash the button. Number one, the bodyguard dog. It would be impossible to make this list without including a dog in it. Dogs are After legends. After all, dogs are considered humans' best friends, heroes that are eager to put your life before theirs. At the top of this list, we have Lefty, a pit bull that acted as a personal bodyguard when four burglars broke into her house in Virginia in July of 2013. Oh, so scary. One of the intruders shot a bullet at Lefty's dad, but she immediately got in the way and took the bullet herself, hurting her right front shoulder. When Lefty made it to the hospital, the family was told she needed to have her arm amputated. Aww. However, since the family had just been robbed, they didn't have the means to help their little hero with the surgery. That's when the online community got involved by passing the story around through social media and raised the necessary funds to do Lefty surgery. The internet can Lefty be good at thankfully times. ended up surviving. So through her story, we learned that an animal's love, compassion, and sacrifice can never be predicted. You never know when you'll be in an emergency and your hero will unexpectedly be a kind and loving animal. No. You'll be being kind to them all, even the small ones. Be what like do your Lefty. pets at home look like? Have you ever been in a position where an animal came to your rescue? Doesn't matter how big or small, I want to know about other animals that save people's lives and share with us in the comments section down below. Let us know in the comments as well, that'd be interesting. Yeah. Share some positive stories and uh, yeah, be like Lefty. That's cute. In life, be happy, try and help people. I, I don't always jump in, in front of a bullet for someone. You might not, I'm joking, I'm <laughs> joking, it depends on the situation. It also depends what the person is. Definitely, but that's, well, I'm trying not to say that, but. <laughs> yeah, but it does. If, if someone's horrible to you, why would you. <laughs> yeah, shoot a mate. Yeah, but you wouldn't, why would you risk your life? I'm only joking. I wouldn't. But be like Lefty, absolute legend. Smash the button, guys. You. Oh, thanks, babe. I think. I yeah, I'd jump you too. I'd jump you too. I'd like to think. Yeah, probably not. You probably <laughs> won't, would you? 
I'll say I will yeah, just, just for the, away. just for the yeah. You too, babe. The crap. You too. Smash the like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button and watch the video. Have a fantastic day. And we will see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.